my name is Kristen Markey and welcome to the Village Eats Cooking Show, our Greenwood Village, Colorado cooking show where we meet awesome neighbors, we cook some food, and we have a lot of fun. Today I have fantastic neighbors here joining us. Um, we have Craig Getchy and Dennis McCann, both restaurant owners, so I'm just going to put that out there because this is making me very, very nervous to cook with <laughs> restauranteurs. Um, but we're going to try our best and we're going to make something good for the summer and celebrate um, the holidays like 4th of July. So we're going to start off with this beverage that I made. Um, it can be like a smoothie kind of drink or it can be a margarita, whichever you prefer. I'll have both recipes on the um, greenwoodvillage.com website. So. Anyway, we are going to toast to our summer. Perfect. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, Cheers. thanks for coming on. Okay. Yeah. This will be fun. I don't see any chicken, so I think we'll be okay. <laughs> okay, so Craig's restaurant is uh, Chick fil A. So, purposefully, the first thing that our crew said is, Are you making chicken today? I said, Absolutely no chicken at all. But Dennis, on the other hand, um, owns JD's Bates Shop and. Uh, I know that your specialty is fish, right? Uh, somewhat. We have fish and we have shrimp on the menu, but it's basically burgers and quesadillas and wraps and stuff. Uh huh. But you're a fish fisherman, right? You yes, like I like to fish, but uh, we don't have the fresh catch of the day or anything there. <laughs> not, not in Denver? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to get into, I, I really want to hear you guys' stories on how you got started. And I know, you know, you've both been in the community a long time. Craig, you kind of worked up um, through Chick-fil-A for mm -hmm. years and years. And Dennis is celebrating 25 years with JD's Bait Shop um, this next year, which is pretty awesome. Um, and, and today we're going to like work in this, this menu of, of cooking, right? So we have on the menu today, um, we're going to make a habanero um, a shrimp, grilled shrimp, and we're going to do Mexican street corn. And then we're also going to grill some avocados and grill some bread. So my thing is really kind of taking, you know, the things that taste, normally taste really, really good and maybe not be that healthy and putting like a little healthy twist on it. So the, the street corn was something that people kept saying to me, we make, we do a healthy version of the street corn and um, hopefully it's a little bit healthier. So cool. I'm excited to get. I think this would be great. Yeah. Sure. So um, how long have you guys been in Greenwood Village? Dennis? We have lived in the village for 21 years. We, uh, we've had the bait shop for 25, but we've been in the village for 21 years. Great city. The police department's wonderful. The government's wonderful. I mean, Everybody we can ask. Says that. Well, they're there when you need them. And they so came that's... on the show. Did you know that? The no. Two of the officers came on yes. the show. They yeah. were so, so Public fun. Public safety bros. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're so fun. But the guys are uh, a lot of young guys now. They're all professional. They're good guys. And so it's, it's nice to be in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I echo that as well. I echo everything uh, what Dennis just said. Uh, we've been in the village since uh, 2014 uh -huh. when uh, Chick-fil-A opened up over in, on Arapahoe I-25, and, and I echo all that. Um, government's great. The police organization is wonderful. Um, just everybody we've interacted with have been fantastic. So we're happy so, to be here. So you're, the Chick-fil-A that you opened was like brand new in 2014? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Massive was, success, right? It's been great. Yeah. yeah. We've been very happy. So yeah. And continuing to grow. And the whole of Cherry Creek High School goes there for lunch every day? Um, I think a good portion <laughs> do. Uh, yeah, we do see a pretty big rush around that lunchtime. Uh, I know that Chick-fil-A on Hamden uh, gets some of that business as well, since, yeah. we're, since yeah, the school is right around the middle. Yep, so uh, it's good that the students have options, either to the north or to the south. Yeah. So as like a franchise owner, do you mm -hmm. look for, you know, new locations um, throughout the city as well? Or are you like, sure. um, you're just nurturing this little bit? Baby and I, I just I just focus on my baby. Uh, yeah. So Chick Fil A corporate uh, is in, is responsible for the the acquisition, locating, finding the right place, um, which is really nice to be able to partner with a, a company that cares just as much about the success of my business as I care about it. Mm -hmm. um, and so they identify the location, they did all the negotiating and contracts and everything, and then I come in on day one and operate it moving forward. Um, and so. I just get to focus on that. So oh, Chick-fil-A cool. were to look in a, to another location within my trade area, and if they felt I was doing good, then I can potentially have another opportunity. Um, but right now, that one restaurant is keeping me busy enough. 
Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. How many do we have in like the whole of Colorado? Oh my goodness, in Colorado, there's about 50, 50, oh. 55. Okay. Um, and that's including Colorado Springs. Um, but yeah, there's about a little over 2,000 uh, nationwide. Uh -huh. Oh, so that's fantastic. It's a growing brand. We just took over the number two spot as the most popular uh, fast food or the highest growing fast food restaurant, um, taking over Subway, I believe, um, and heading to number one. Wow, so we'll see. that's pretty exciting. Yeah. I love it. What a great concept, too. I mean, everybody you talk to loves Chick-fil-A. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, It's an easy sell, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> absolutely. Well, the first thing, that we'll kind of intermix our, our cooking here in between our conversation, but the first thing we're going to make here is this habanero sauce for our shrimp. So we'll make this, we'll go outside and we'll grill the shrimp, and then we'll put the sauce on. But just to kind of, you know, it's all about the timing. You guys know this better than I do in the, the, the restaurant business, just like timing it so perfectly and having things done in the right order is, is makes it super, super easy. So this sauce right here, and, and Dennis is going to man the, uh, the blender right here. I'm like, this is you. Yeah. This is you, Dennis. <laughs> exactly. um, so it's a super easy, um, delicious, super flavorful sauce. Um, and all we've got here is some fresh lime juice. So um, if you want to pour that in. There was one thing that um, I did prior to you guys coming, and that is I just sauteed a little bit of garlic and olive oil. So I just put it on um, a saucepan, low heat um, in the olive oil, and just got it nice and brown like this. So we've got some garlic, and then we've got some olive oil, and in case you don't know what a habanero, habanero is, is, that's what it looks like. How hot is that one? That is going to be hot. Um, the so ghost pepper or just a habanero? It's just a habanero. So um, I'm going to take I'm going to take a few of these <laughs> seeds out just so that our lips don't that's you know, fall so off. So we can enjoy yeah. it. <laughs> yep, the heat's in the seeds. So if you don't like it too hot, I would just take out some of the seeds. So yeah. Oh, and then we've got cilantro. So put that on in. I'll just throw this bad boy in. And then I forgot to measure this. So we got some honey, and I think it was about a tablespoon. So there we go. That's perfect. Cut the heat a little bit. So we'll blend that on up. More? Is that yeah. good? These are my favorite. That's good. These are my favorite blenders because it has the... Scrape off the sides. Scraper in here, cool. so we'll just scrape that down. Okay, do it one more time. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so we are going to just keep that there, so when our shrimp is all done off the off the grill, we can come back and just perfect. Basically, put it on the top. It will be delicious. Um, yeah. So the next thing that we're going to do is. Um, put the shrimp, um, basically we're gonna just put it on the skewers and so that's ready to go. And um, super easy recipe here too is we're just gonna um, put the shrimp on the skewers, a little olive oil and salt and pepper. And when you grill the shrimp, it really takes like five minutes. You know, just you just want that shrimp to be, um, to turn pink. So when you're looking for shrimp, you know, I really like like Deveined already, de you know, shell Just tails off, on, you know, <laughs> tails on, and everything else done. Everything else <laughs> up, so we're making it as simple as possible, and you don't have to do all that work with your fork and knife. Cool. Are those uh, U15s or are those a little smaller? What are those? You know, that's a really good question. I call that's a good size shrimp. Yeah. Jumbo. Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Small, King's, medium, and jumbo, King's right? Super's <laughs> jumbo organic shrimp. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go over here and grab these skewers. And all right. All right, so this, this is your job. All right. All right. You guys can each take one. I don't, I don't want to touch the shrimp. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, do you guys have any fun plans for the 4th of July? Just hanging out at home. i got four kids that are on uh, summer vacation right now. Do you go long ways or you just go through the middle? Yeah, I like it like so you're going both ways, so it's like kind of like that, like a C. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do like okay. four or five. Okay, so four kids at home. Yep, so four kids at home. Like a parade kind of thing? No, yeah, probably a little of everything. Fireworks? Uh, they, yep, yeah, so there are, 
ages range from 14 to 8. So uh -huh. it's still at a really fun age where they enjoy doing things at home still and not looking to get out of the home. Um, but yeah, we'll find a local place to do fireworks. I don't know if you have any recommendations or if we know of any good places that are doing fireworks. Um, we'll be looking for some place to go and see them. I don't know is if it I'd, Cherry I Hills Golf Course that you can, that everybody likes to? Yes, they have a great do they? Yeah. fireworks show and it's big. I understand Fiddlers isn't doing one this year. They're not because so. of the weather? I just, I haven't Are seen just a, a, a 4th of July concert. Usually huh. they do a concert. In five the, or, would you say four? It's four or five, oh, yeah. I've got five. Yeah. Um, we usually like to go to Vail for the 4th, and this year, two of our three kids are home in Colorado, and they're like, oh, we're going with friends. So the opposite, this is the first right? year for me, I'm like, oh, what do you mean you're going with friends? What about us? You know? Parents get kicked to the I, curb. It's I know. <laughs> what about you, Dennis? Uh, not sure. We might go to Vail. My kids are going to be up there, and we might <laughs> crash their party. Exactly. But. <laughs> Try to keep them in line. That's awesome. All right. But I also might be home working, too, so. No, well, business doesn't stop. I bet, you know, it's probably a good, busy time for you. Uh, not really. Most of the time, people are out doing barbecues and stuff, which is smart. They're not inside, so you want to be outside hanging out. Yeah, so. yeah. All right, we got three, three and three. Looks like good. Well, we need to take a break, wash our hands. Perfect. And um, then we'll go on to the next one. Cool? Sounds great. All right. Okay, we're back. And we're ready to start putting our stuff on the grill because we've got a variety of things. Have you guys ever grilled avocado? I have not. I have not. Have you ever had it? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I have not either, but it sounds wonderful. <laughs> Um, you know what? I have just been introduced to grilled avocado just maybe a few years ago, and now it's become an obsession, actually. I, I can really work avocado into almost any meal. Maybe cool. minus Italian, but, um, <laughs> you know, spaghetti with avocado sounds terrible to Interesting, me. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but grilled avocado is super, super easy and adds, like, a great texture to, like, meats. And, and if you don't like meat, even, like, it's a great um, source of... Um, really good fats um, in your diet. So all we're going to do is we're going to cut an avocado in half and just put a little drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper and you just grill it um, face down on the grill. So we're going to put those on, the shrimp on, the corn on, and then I'm going to grill a little bit of naan bread. So the meal that we're making today can be consumed in a variety of different ways. Like as a dinner, like the corn and the shrimp on the side, that's great. Or you can put it in this little naan bread and make like a little sandwich. Or you can serve it as an appetizer and cut the corn off the cob and um, serve it with corn chips. So a lot of different variations here that we can do. And, um, you know, we can try them all. You can tell me which one you like best at the end. Sounds good. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. So for the shrimp and the corn, um, we're just going to drizzle both with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. We talked about olive oil a little bit in our last episode um, that we like organic, extra virgin, in a bottle, in a dark bottle, with a date. That was our, that was our key. <laughs> key to buying olive oil. All right. You want a pepper? Do you like to drizzle it on or do you like a spray? A sprayer with olive oil. Have you used that before? Yeah, um, yeah, that's fun too. And that would probably would have been a good use today. Do you like to do it that way? Never used one. I have one in the cabinet, but we do. <laughs> it was a nice gift. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I, I think I'm kind of a heavy. I use like um, sea salt, and I I'm a salter. Um, yeah, here. Okay, Craig, you wanna? Do you know how to do avocados? I don't, but okay, I'm well ready to I, learn. All right, I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Um, oh, the first thing I want to show you guys, see how like the stem popped off? Uh -huh. um, you can look, when the stem pops off really easily, you know that it's ripe. So that's a good way, you know, aside from, oh yeah, it feels ripe, right. but if the, the stems, 
Here's one on here too, if it just like easily pops off. And if you can see green, um, that's a good indication that uh, it's not bruised inside. So, so you recommend doing that at the store when you're looking for avocados, kind of like <laughs> pop the stem Well, off? if you want to eat them right away. straight away, gotcha. that's a good idea. Okay. But for the most part, like you have to buy avocados like a few days ahead okay. of time just so that they can ripen up. But all right, so we're just gonna cut these in half and um, a lot of people have issues with cutting avocados. I know several friends that went to the ER for <laughs> avocado cutting, but this is a nice, perfect avocado. If you can lay your avocado down, don't go like this, <laughs> but lay it down and then just, um, you know, kind of like that. And that's a good way to get the cool. pit out. So Dennis, you can drizzle with a little bit of olive oil. And then, uh, so you leave the skin on. Yeah. 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 So super, super easy and um, so good with just like a steak and, you know. It's be good with a salad to be good with anything. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Another perfect one. Seriously, you never know with avocados, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to get the pits off. Here's another one. And this one, we are going to take the uh, sticker off before we grill. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. And just put some salt and pepper on. And with this bread that I got, I got this um, just from King Supers, and it's in the packages. It says not, I think it's like Stone Fire or something is the brand. Mm -hmm. um, Really, you can just grill it as is, just so that it's toasted, um, mm -hmm. so to speak. Or you can put a little olive oil and salt and pepper. Cool. Yeah. All and right. is non bread different than like a pita bread? Or is it pretty much the same thing? Um, it's it's like the Indian version gotcha. is, is non, so it's a little softer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really... Black pepper here, too. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks for taking over. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Yeah. You looking for a job? I need one. <laughs> One, this could be added to your menu. Right. Like if you like this, you'd be like, okay, this is from the cookie show. This looks this, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's good colors, right? Okay, so the for the corn, a um, lot of different ways that you can grill corn. I know a lot of people that like to soak it in the husk and just grill it, you know, in the husk. But I always find that I burn my hands and it's so difficult. Mm -hmm. So when I, when I grill the corn, like corn is in season right now. It's so sweet. You can eat it right off the cob, you know, just cut it off and eat it, right? It's delicious. So you don't need to grill it for a long, long time. You can, you know, grill for a short time. We just want to get those black marks add on it. Add some color to it. Add mm -hmm. some color to it. And then, um, the uh, the street corn element usually is sort of a combination of garlic, um, some mayonnaise, some sour cream, cilantro, lime, um, and the variation that I made up. Um, instead of using mayo, I use like veginase, which is still not totally, totally good for you, but it's a little <laughs> bit better than mayonnaise. Um, but it's a, a vegan type of, of mayonnaise. Um, so we'll use that with some um, of our Mexican cojita cheese and some garlic and some lime juice. So we'll just mix that together. I'm going to throw this pit out here. Mix that together so it's all ready. So once we leave the kitchen here and we go out to the grill, then we don't have to come back here. So I'll just mix that up. And this is just a really, really easy recipe of, like I said, the veginase. A lot of people don't. It's in this, it's right over by the eggs and King Supers and like where all the healthy stuff is. Have you seen this? Before? So is this better than uh, like mayo light or something? Better than mayo. <laughs> so See that? Right, right, right there. <laughs> better than mayo. <laughs> well, I mean, this is dairy free, egg free, okay. if you don't, whatever. Um, I, I kind of just prefer it. So I, you know, I do what I like. So, you, you know, they, they, ask, they ask me to be the host. I get to, I get to choose, right? <laughs> okay, and I just minced some garlic, and then I'm going to put some 
lime juice in there. And this is when the corn comes off of the grill, we're just going to um, baste the corn in, in um, this little sauce, and then we'll put the cheese and the cilantro and more lime juice over it. So it's super, super delicious. Oh, wow. Or you can cut it off the cob and make just make a salad yeah. of this if you don't want to eat it with all of that stuff yeah. all over, right? Yeah, so we're just going to mix this up, add a little lime juice. Oh. Um, this is a trick. You Do you know how to you use this? You poke a hole in it first before you squeeze it so you don't get it shot in your eyes. No. Isn't that right? No? Okay. I'm thinking just, of something else. Okay, just like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Just and just and squeeze yeah. it over it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Good stuff. I think almost every show I've used the citrus <laughs> squeezer. Yeah. Yeah. Instead Whether of using lemon, your hand. Yeah, lemon or lime. Gotcha. I think like the, the real chefs really, they put it over their hand and, and then the, yeah. the seeds go right in the palm of their hand. So Pretty but fancy. I, I'm faking it. Here. <laughs> go Another ahead. one? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we are ready to go outside, grill our stuff, put our little dinner together. Sound good? That's or lunch, good. so to speak? Sounds Fourth great. Fourth of July dinner. It's looking good. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. All right. Let's go turn on the grill. So what we're going to do now, we have basically four things to grill. The corn's going to take the longest. And then the shrimp, the avocado, and the bread will go like in a nanosecond. So let's get the corn on. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. It is hot, let me tell you. <laughs> um, we're just going to stick these bad boys on here. It is hot. We want like the nice marks on the corn. Do you guys grill? A little bit, yeah. Okay, that looks good. Let's put this down. What's your favorite? Yeah, I like Do grilling. you have like a? Uh, believe it or not, chicken. So I like to grill chicken, right? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, but no, we do hamburgers, we'll do steaks. You know, hot dogs is a, is a popular one. I've got four little kids. I say little between the ages of 14 and eight. So we still like the traditional 4th of July hot dogs and burgers, you know, concept. Yeah, nothing so. wrong with that. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. I, it was fun to like expand out into like the veggie world and the veggie baskets, sure, you sure. know, like when the veggie baskets first came out, it's mm -hmm. like, oh, can I put potatoes in there and veggies and, you know, what else can I grill? And recently we've been doing pizzas and I thought that could be a good show too, like grilled pizzas. Yeah. On a stone. What do you think? On a stone or have you seen those um, plates that have like the holes in it? They're really, really thin and I like really thin pizza. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, it would be great. And I keep telling my husband that I want one of those pizza ovens built in the backyard. Sure. You know, pretend like we're that's good. great. Then you can have the fire roasted uh, <laughs> pizza oven. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be fantastic. What about you, Dennis? What's your uh, whatever your I'm told to, to grill. <laughs> so whatever my wife says, let's grill this. But, but do you have a specialty? Uh, no, not really. I mean, fish, shrimp, steaks, whatever, burgers. It's uh, but the vegetable deal is, like I said, this is pretty neat with avocados. I think this is going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see how this. I really don't like the corn when it gets all shriveled up. So, oh yeah, see, we already got like the little black marks already. So this is going to go pretty quick. Um, yeah, and it's it'll start to change color and just get a little bit um, a little bit brighter. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. This thing weighs about 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so you do the, the corn for five minutes or so, and then uh, Maybe 10 minutes. the avocados. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how this is going. The avocados really need like five minutes, and the, the shrimp as well, maybe three to five minutes. So it'll be quick. And the, and the bread is just to toast it. So again, that's, that's pretty quick. Cool. Yeah. So, um, Favorite, favorite Colorado things to do? I know we have people all over the world watching this show. Oh, wow. Legit. But favorite Colorado things to do in the summer? Sure. So yeah. I'll, I'll put a plug in for a local venue that's a lot of fun, Fiddler's Green Amphitheater. Yeah. Um, so they do a concert series throughout the summer. And uh, one of the things that we do is we're a vendor uh, there on site at Fiddler's. We're in four different locations selling Chick-fil-A uh, to the 16,000 people that it'll seat. 
Um, and so we're our busiest time in the restaurant is yeah. during the summer months. And so huh. I typically don't go anywhere. My family and I, we really don't like to travel much anyways. And so we like to stay local and, and find some fun things to do. Um, we um, like to go swimming, we like to do uh, camping. We'll do uh, we'll go to Cherry Creek State Park, you know, things like that. But oh. we're pretty busy with the uh, concerts as well. So fun. So you're working the concerts. Do you get to yes. kind of like See, we get to know, enjoy like, it. Yeah, okay. we get to enjoy it uh, as we're working it. We can hear, we can hear the uh, the music and hear the the chaos that goes on in the in that bowl area. But it's it's a lot of fun. You know, they bring. I love that it's in our backyard, yep. right? Yep. Like we can legitimately take the light rail there, mm -hmm. which I love um, from a, an ease and safety. Mm -hmm. Um, experience, but there's just so many groups, so many great groups that come. Yep. We we just have one. Um, They've done an unbelievable job with that venue, yeah. and then for it to be, and then they cut it off late. I mean, early, so they yes. don't I offend. Because yep. you can hear it. Yeah, there's a curfew time. Yeah, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock on the weekends. Yeah. Um, yeah. I love it. We got. Um, I got my husband tickets to um, Mumford nice. for Mumford Father's Day. Sounds, yeah. It's one of our favorites. And I love, I've, we've never seen them at Mumford. I don't know if they've ever shown at Mumford. We've seen them at Red Rocks and... Mm -hmm. um, do you want to put these on now? Maybe just one more minute. Let's just do this for just, not quite. Um, yeah, I, I love that, that space. It's so yeah. convenient and mm -hmm. um, great artists. So, yeah. all right, Dennis, what about you? Favorite thing uh, in Colorado? Basalt is a great little town and uh, frying pan anglers uh, has cabins and stuff up and down the, the river, so it's nice to go up there and the fishing's great and basalt's just- you fly a, fishing? Yes, kind of most fishing? of it is fly fishing up there. I mean, I like to fish all over, but up there it's definitely fly fishing and you can float the Colorado or fish the frying pan and it's just a, a neat little town. Yeah. So We're gonna be up, actually up that way um, for the fourth. So I'm super excited to check it out. And that I have never fun. gone fly fishing. And I think all of my friends are now fly fishing. I'm like, I want to give it a shot. Go to frying pan anglers and okay. those guys will give you lessons and set you up. Yeah. It's good. From a kind of a mental health perspective and like decreasing stress, like there's You're nothing. out there standing in the river and yeah. nothing's bothering you. So, I mean, it's, it's, That's what everybody it's a stress says. relief. So like that is good. It's just so good and calming <laughs> and beautiful mm -hmm. and... As long as it's not too cold. No. But the rivers are high, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're running way too high right now. They you can't even fish up there. I think it's running so high. Yeah, I had one of my sons said that he was going to go um, whitewater rafting, and I'm like, not yet, yeah. <laughs> not yet. I think it's way too high. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure the professionals are having fun. But I think some of those guys cut off operations for a few days. Yeah. S okay. How do you want to put these? So. For those people that are watching, there's a little bit of olive oil in here. You don't want to have too much, so if you need to, like, just um, turn it over. Otherwise, we're going to have big old flames um, coming up. So these don't take too long. And, yeah, see the mm -hmm. flame right up. We're going to put the shrimp on. Do you need the glove? But this is a great little meal that, that's quick. Yeah. yeah. And healthy, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I uh, experimented with my family this week, and it was like a massive, massive hit. And we tried it all the different ways that I mentioned earlier, too. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, you, I think you guys will like it. I hope you like it. Otherwise, it's going to be a bummer. I can't wait for the sauce, <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. Sure. And I can't wait to step away from the grill because yeah, it was right? boiling hot. <laughs> okay, this corn has got to be done. I let's, think so. let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it's looking good. Um, and I think the avocados look perfect as well. Let's awesome. do the big pan for the corn. Let's take that off. We can put the, the bread on. This is looking good. Perfect, thank you, Dennis. Do you want to put the avocados around it or do you want to put them on another plate? Um, let's put them on a different plate. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move the shrimp over here. All right, let's see if I can make these. 
keep them intact. <laughs> The, Those are great. The, that's the trick. Yeah. So do they get softer as they Yeah, grow? they do. Okay. So even like if you have them and they're a little bit hard, um, you know, they're fine to put on the grill. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. The shrimp is just a few more minutes. And then you put the bread up top or are you just going to put it around the back? Yeah, do you want to put it on the top? That would be great. I hope nobody's watching me try to flip these shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky. All right. Awesome. I'll close this for another minute. Just throw them anywhere. Looking good. Perfect. Thank you for your help. Of course. <laughs> it's all about timing, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well. So what's your go-to uh, summer activity? Summer activity. Um, well, I really love, love, love to hike anywhere in Colorado. We have so many hikes. I really love, I fell in love with that app called All Trails. Okay. And, um, you know, it's great for finding uh, really good trails close by or mm -hmm. wherever you are, you know, within the state and, you know, how to get there and reviews and stuff like that. So I love that app to help me. But I really got into paddle boarding oh, a cool. few years ago. So um, my husband bought me a paddle board that I can actually um, put on my back and we can hike somewhere oh, where nice. there's a little lake and then paddle board around. Very cool. It's kind of fun. Taking in all of our beauty right here. So you can actually take the paddle board in, yeah. blow it up, and yeah. then stand up on it and go? Yep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. super fun. And heavy. So it can <laughs> be like two. Like St. Mary's Glacier too, too is like a perfect place to take that because the hike to the glacier is really short. Even though it's, you know, it's kind of a hard hike um, in terms of the initial incline. Right. Um, but it's still, a, it's a, a quick little, a quick little hike. And then you've got the... The water right there. Right. And you can go paddle boarding around and it's so beautiful. Need a towel? No. Um, what um, are you going to put this on the, the other plate, the shrimp? Yeah, I think so. Is that okay? Are we ready for it? it? Sounds maybe yeah. this one right here is just not quite done. And what are you is looking that? for when you're grilling shrimp? Well, you want it to be pink. Okay. Um, so just make sure that all that opaqueness is gone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, this one looks good. All right. Be careful for this skewer. Skewers are going to be hot. Yeah. All right, let's take this stuff over to the table and then we'll start assembling. Sounds good. Grab the stuff from the kitchen. Let's just put it right here. Thank you, Dennis. Move this All right. Away. Sure, that'd be great. Okay. That looks awesome. Uh, it does look awesome. It's even gonna be better with our sauces that we made. So Beautiful. I'm gonna grab those really quick. I'll be right back. Perfect. All right, we've got all of our fabulous grilled food right here. And we just have a couple quick um, assembly items to do. And normally I would do this at the counter, but just for production ease, um, <laughs> we're just going to put our sauce on the corn and so that the, the cheese, and you can use a, a brush too, that's helpful. Um, so we got our sauce on here. And I think you guys remember, like I said, you can cut the corn off and mm -hmm. just serve this as a salad versus, you know, picking this up in your hand. Of course, um, you know, corn in the cob, people think, you know, it should be, should be held, Pour right? The cob, yeah. Yep. And it defeats the purpose. That's right. Okay, so we've got the sauce. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sprinkle this cojita cheese on the top. And you can roll it. A lot of people do roll it in there, too. If you like, like a lot of cheese, you can roll it. That's an option, too. Oh, yeah, Dennis, you put the cilantro just for... Quickness. It looks so beautiful, nice. doesn't so it? So colorful. Mm -hmm. And then the last step in this corn process is just squeezing a little bit of extra lime juice on the top. It helps it all stick together too. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, so there's our corn. It looks fabulous, doesn't it? It looks right? great. <laughs> and then for the shrimp, we have our harbonaro sauce, and we're just going to put it over the top of our grilled shrimp. Who's ready to dish up your plate? Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. Avocado. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. It's my pleasure. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thanks. And some corn. Mm -hmm. I added the little corn. Uh, Holders on there. Yeah, <laughs> Always helpful, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Ah, this looks good. Who wants to take the first bite? Oh Go my goodness. Corn. All right. Yeah, Dennis, you get to try the avocado first. Oh, since I've been that, talking about it the whole time. Talking about <laughs> it, yeah. Mm. Mm, that corn's great. Thank you. It's delicious. Well, it's been so nice having you guys here helping and on this beautiful, beautiful Colorado summer day in this beautiful location. Um, I wish you guys the best uh, summer and happy grilling. And from, you know, Greenwood Village, uh, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget that you can um, check out all the recipes on greenwoodvillage.com. And until ne next time, um, bon appetit. Thanks again for coming, you guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, cheers.